Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to... Make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. And she was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up turned him loose and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left third echelon, left the life he knew, left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually, he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name, and he found somewhere to go looking. A city All right. called Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept these compliments of your call. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude, and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position, and from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. Everybody leave! Get the fuck out of here! Good. Now let's get you a little closer to those targets in the light of them. Go cover to cover until you reach the luggage stand. Make it there? I'm there. No, man. Hang on. I don't like being You're tapping into the city's power grid. That'll let me overload the transformers near you huh? and blow out those lights. You think of that? Yeah. Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? I don't like the dark. It's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep.
I could go to sleep with the light on. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Teddy, what was that? Shh. Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's gonna shut the door and he'll be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Shh. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. Come here, chicken shit! Come on, show yourself, fuck face! There you go, oh, Sam. Shit. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. Shit. We have to find Fisher. Huh? Look there! Look there you go, Holy Sam. Shit. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. Shit, what? You want some, cocksucker? Come on! Eat this, asswipe! Shit, Fisher, that's... Come on, show yourself, fuck face! What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. Yeah, you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou easy. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. And the lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now shit. you're talking. Talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Graham. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. Bills on this one. Coben. Oh man, why we gotta keep working for this guy? His money's good. He's a punk. Graco should be running his operation. I've got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramko, a local street-level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. You see anything? Fisher guy's smart. Probably ran out the back end of the market, left us here with our thumbs up our asses. Not happening. Back's all blocked up. He's gotta come through here. Hopefully before we die of old age. Where the hell is he hiding anyway? Jewelry stand, maybe? Nah, not enough cover. He's gotta be somewhere around here. Probably someplace close. If he was close, we'd see him. We'd take him out. Get that reward money Gramcos is promising for whoever puts a cap in the cover. Me, Whoa, you man. Man. 
Mission is to walk out of here alive. You got it? A thousand bucks for the go kill Fisher. You gotta kill him! Looking for me, asshole. No more playing around. Who sent you? Fuck you! Okay, enough. You want to know who sent me? It's Colbin. Andre Colbin. <coughs> Runs drugs, guns. Anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Colbin want me dead? <laughs> Don't. daughter used to brag about it you know uh, heard you were coming so he hired me to to kill you before you killed him you should refund his money where do i find him you don't understand oh he killed me in the city the old museum on king george street it's his place now Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not gonna tell him a damn thing. Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Coben's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with. And that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys toting automatic weapons. But Sam knew Coben was in there. And that he might know something about what happened to his daughter. So, Sam was going in. No matter what. Right, man? Yes. Of course this place is dead. It's way too late. So what's on the schedule for tomorrow? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, better get that out. 
Watch that first step. They missed the hit on Fisher at the market. This is up to us now, man. Man, did you see that list of meds Coben won? He eats them like candy, man. Probably wants a new flavor. No, I mean the- oh, Shit! Shit! Oh. So what are we supposed to do with these? Drag them to the back courtyard. Let someone else dump them. That's something. Who are these assholes anyway? CIA or KGB guys or something. I... Colbin cleaned up secret agents? Shit, now I'm impressed. Oh, I'm a little. Crazy. Wait, what the hell is he doing, Captain Spooks? Who the hell has he got us working for? Who's gonna ask him to cap Spooks? <laughs> Who's gonna come looking? Someone took out the chandelier! Shit. Fuck, who did this? Fuck you, whoever you are! Fuck that museum! Fuck everything! You're dead, man!
we do that, the sooner we get paid. How we doing? We're ahead of schedule. Don't tell those guys that. Yeah, no kidding. Any idea what's in the big box? Don't know, don't care. Expensive, it's Russian, that's all I need. So this means we're using the usual pilot for this run? He does all the tough shipments. Yeah, Kobe. Whoa, man! The Americans don't, that's why they're going to the right, I think. Yeah, protecting them. All I'm saying is I wouldn't want to... Well, Bible, the fittest. Hey, I'm gonna go check on something. Check. Crates. Yeah, check. Port materials. Check. Careful, watch your backs. You're not gonna lay a goddamn finger on me, you hear me? 
Flush him out. Cover. I take him down. I'm a nice guy. I'll show you Melta and its women, you know. Watch your back. He's here somewhere. Grenade! <laughs> the dude's gonna be oh. laying right over there. Get him! The next uh, one's in your head, Fisher! Fuck it. Get yourselves ready to go in. No. Gotta go in there, guys. You know it. Go! You're pathetic, Fisher! Come here! Oh. I'm no Gramcos! Oh, what the? Man. He's gonna be over here! Nothing, Fisher! Nothing! Tobin had you all wrong, Fisher! Turns out you're just a pussy! Thank you. 
That son of a bitch is gonna come through that door, and we're gonna blast him when he comes. Boss, what if he comes through the window? Then you shoot him! What kind of fucking stupid question is that? You get this straight. Nobody is going anywhere until Fisher is dead. Until he shows up, all you gotta do is shut up and get ready to shoot. Are we clear? Yeah, boss. I just shut up! Easy there, boss. Don't tell me to take it easy. I'm ready. Are you idiots ready? I'm ready. I'm ready right now. <laughs> I'm not hearing anything. You hear anything. What are you waiting for? Fucking kill him! Hold still and die! Something about my daughter. Oh, God, no. I was just messing with you, man. I didn't mean it. I swear I didn't mean it. Then make it up to me. Tell me why you killed her. I can't tell you. All you can do is kill me. Oh. It was just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job! They isn't good enough. Who were you working for? I can't tell you! I'm still working for them! They'll gut me if I tell you! not the ones you should be worried about right now. You don't get it, Fisher! They're bigger than you! They're bigger than me! Don't you see? They told me you were coming! Grab it, Fisher! My God, I'm you you Sam, oh, you need to go with them. The hell I do. Trust me on this one. If you're talking to the Ice Queen Fisher, I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. What took you so fucking long? Don't move! Hands in the I air! Took Fisher, don't nice and easy! Man, this is Ghost Hawk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. All right, Grim. You get this one. But if it's a setup... So no, no, no. I'll be happy when we drop off Sleeping Beauty. So will Reed. I saw his people out by his chopper ready to go. 
He's probably impatient. Look, Colonel Prentice, I got us here as fast as I could. Yes, you did, Oscar. Tom Reed's just not a patient man. Uh, Colonel, I don't mean to be pushy on this one, but I do need to talk to you about my pay. I was told Coburn was handling that. Well, yes, sir, but since there were these changes, you see, extra passengers with extra gear and a longer flight plan. Tell you what, Oscar, take it up with Colonel Reed. He'll take care of you. It was clear someone wanted to talk to Sam. That's why they went to all the trouble of setting them up at Coburn's. That's why they tranked them and flew them back home. They needed him docile when they offloaded him at their private airstrip up in the Blue Ridge, because if they hadn't, he would have taken that place apart with his bare hands.